Read lads and lasses, how we're doing and welcome back to the channel. If you've been reading any sort of news by now, you would have seen that Gareth Southgate is a big fan of Ellie Anderson and wants him to switch from a Scottish nationality to an English one. And it works both ways as Steve Clark, Scotland's manager, wants Harvey Barnes to switch from an English nationality to a Scottish one. Should both players swap or should they stay? What should they do? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. We've got some comments from both managers on both players. We're going to get into absolutely everything. There's so much detail, so stay tuned for this video. Let's have a look at why Harvey Barnes should switch nationality. Look, in my opinion, it's literally a no-brainer. Harvey Bond should be a Scottish international now. If not, he should have been sooner. Why may you ask? Let's look at the facts. Harvey Barnes is 25 years old. Unlike Elliot Anderson, he's not the oldest of players, but yes, he is getting on in his football career. He's 25 years old, and he's not going to get a look in the England squad. With all due respect, Scotland is, of course, more inferior. He should really go there, and, and he can provide for Scotland. No, they don't play with wingers. But he can go on that Scottish team and make an impact. Why me not get an England team, you ask? England's got some very, very talented players on the wings. And of course, we do play with wings. We've got Rashford, Saka, Eze, Foden, Madison. The list goes on. And if he's 25 years old, all these players are younger than him. They're already in the setup. They're growing. They're at these top clubs. He's not going to get a look in whatsoever. And it's really unfortunate for him because if you already had these fantastic seasons at Leicester City and you're still not getting a look in and then you're playing for Newcastle United, you're scoring your debut and you haven't even got called up to the what's it, the provisional squad, it's just really a shame for him. So I would, I would go to that Scottish team straight away. And the benefits for us is pretty decent. I mean, exposure, of course, is the first one. Say you're a seven-year-old lad, you support Kilmarnock or Rangers, Celtic, whoever you support, you're going to Hampden Park for your first ever game. You see this lad, Harvey Barnes, he's running the game, Scotland's best player. Oh, Dad, who does Harvey Barnes play for? Plays for Newcastle United, son. That, that kid might grow up, oh, Newcastle's my favourite team. Um, could go on to be a presenter, Newcastle United. You know, I get his global fan base, of course, that's very unlikely, but he might be buying tops. And that's how we grow. We need to grow in these, these countries. That's why in Saudi Arabia, we are massive. It's it's a, all about a global fan base. All these countries come together. But not only that, he gets to play in European competitions and, of course, the World Cup if Scotland actually qualify for it for once. I mean, they were dreadful last night, man. 3-1, wow. I couldn't care less about the score. I'm, I'm glad we beat them because they're just, they're just whining on over nothing. Like, lads... It's a rarity that we win trophies, right? But it's a rarity if you actually qualify for the competition. So just leave it as that, right? Now, more of the talk of the press conference was actually about Elliot Anderson. Yes, he was the talk of the press conference. There wasn't that much about Harvey Barnes. There was a slight little topic when the reporter asked Steve Clark, Scotland's manager. He said, is that the same for Harvey Barnes? Do you want him to play for Scotland? And this is what Steve Clark had to say. If they are eligible to play for Scotland, I want the best players I've got. Now, straight on to Elliot Anderson. You know my thoughts about Harvey Barnes. Let me know down below if you think the same. But straight on to Elliot Anderson, should he still be a Scottish international? Now, on to Elliot Anderson. This is a very different conversation from Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes is 25. Elliot Anderson is 21. He turns 22 in just two months. But Elliot Anderson in five years' time could be a thousand times the player he is now. He could be an absolute magnificent player. And he could be starting for England. You know, he's got this dilemma and he needs to think properly he was actually pulled out of the scotland squad apparently he got injured whether he's bottling and having second thoughts of actually playing for england after like gareth southgate's talked about them but what i want to actually pick up on is is that a sly comment from gareth southgate is he just wanting to keep his options open yes of course i'd want elliot anderson to play for england i mean i support england not scotland i want the best from but i also don't want my player to just be sat uh playing one professional game or three however it is where you can't swap nations and play the minimum games for England and not being able to switch to Scotland where he could be absolutely thriving and be a, a, a complete country legend there. But yes, Ellie Anson is 21, knocking on 22. Yet again, I, I'm just going to say the same thing. He could be 10 times the player he is in 20 years and he could be winning trophies with England, whereas he could be in a rubbish, and I mean a rubbish Scotland side, barely even qualifying for the actual tournament. I mean, he's, he'll be playing against... Either Scott McTominay in the same side of him as midfield, or he can be playing aside Jude Bellingham. It's completely up to Ellie Anderson. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. Of course, he's 21 years old. He is an adult, but it's a very big thing to talk about. It is a, a very, very big thing. Now, like I say, Ellie Anderson was talked about in this press conference. Let's take a look at what Gareth Southgate actually said about Ellie Anderson when questioned about him. So, Gareth Southgate said, 
We liked him and we do like him. We think he's a player that's doing really well. Obviously, he was called into there on about Scotland's squad earlier in the week and I don't know what the position is at the moment. I saw he's pulled out. Let's see. That's something that John McDermott and others at our organisation will be picking up. He's definitely a player that we like. So what that tells us is that Gareth Southgate has actually looked at Elliot Anderson. I mean, of course, he would have seen him play when he's come to St James's Park for a few matches. We do see him there a fair few times. So does he actually like him? Or is he just luring on to keep his cards on the table, I guess? But what we do like to say is that he's actually keeping tabs on Elliot Anderson. He's watching him as a player. He knows he's a good player. And I hope he isn't lying, mind. I hope, yet again, he's not just saying this so... He has the choice to play him if he wants to. Because we know Gareth Southgate's selections aren't the best. How on earth Harry Maguire is playing a full 90 minutes. And I know he's a complete different player for England than he is to Man United. Or Jordan Henderson playing. We'll see what happens when Jordan Henderson doesn't play. Yes, he's a leader. Yes, he's a veteran. We've got many in the team. Kyle Walker, Kieran Trippier, Harry Kane, Jordan Pickford. The list goes on. We'll have so many leaders. Why Jordan Henderson, man? He plays in the Saudi Arabian League. It's not even that, though. It's just he's not a good football anymore. You have Jude Bellingham there, one of the world's most exciting talents ever. And Jordan Henderson's playing alongside him. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. And actually, another thing I wanted to pick up on, away from Harvey Barnes and Ellie Anson, do you actually think Gareth Southgate should be England's manager? Personally, as I said before, we got knocked out in the in the Euro final or the, the 2018 semi-final that he's not the man for the job. Like, the bloke has managed Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough. I don't care if they're playing in the Champions League. It's one job. And he wasn't there for a lengthy time either. Why give him the England job? It's obviously because he was an ex-player playing for England. But how it, it baffles me. It actually does baffle me. But yes, in my opinion, to wrap up this video, Harvey Barnes should really switch to being a Scottish international. 25 years old. Get all the experience you can, lad. If I was a player, I don't care if I was playing for Burkina Faso. I'd rather play for a national team than be at the training ground. Of course, it's a nice place to be. You're still recovering, but I'd rather play games. Everyone wants to play games. You're a professional footballer. It's your job. And you get paid money for it. So, Harvey Bonds, do switch. And Elliot Anderson, just keep your options open, lad. You don't necessarily have to play for anyone. I mean, yes, you're going to have to make your mind up soon. But keep your options open. And we'll see. We genuinely will see. For the... If you're going to start for England, of course, play for England. If your performances are lacking behind, respectively, you're going to have to play for Scotland. But who do you think both players should play for? In my opinion, Harvey Barnes should play for Scotland. And Elliot Addison should keep his options open. Hopefully, he can play for England. If you did enjoy this video, like and subscribe. And let me know down below yet again who you think you should play for. Thank you very much. I've been Jordy Josh. And enjoy your day.